Kenma always says that the first day of school is the worst day of school. Because every year people are assigned to different classes, every year Kenma has to go through the anxiety of meeting new people all over again. And this year, not only was it the first day of school, but it was the first day of high school. There were so many new people around him that didn't come from his middle school, and making the effort to meet any of them was just too much for Kenma. And so Kenma, being Kenma, just sat in his seat and played the new smartphone game that came out over spring break. The game isn't exactly the type of game that he normally played, but it's strangely addicting. Kenma liked collecting monsters and completing dungeons, but he quickly realized that luck plays a big factor into leveling up in this game, so it really wasn't his type. Kenma usually doesn't like to leave a game unfinished, but since this is a smartphone game, there's going to be an endless amount of quests and dungeons that keep on updating. Maybe I should quit this game soon, he thought. Uh, oh my god, is that Puzzles and Dragons? You play Puzzles and Dragons too? A voice startled him from behind. Kenma nearly jumped from his seat. Oh, sorry, did I startle you? You pointed to yourself and quickly introduced you to him. What's your name? you asked. Kazume Kenma, he replied as he held his phone between you and his face. Then, Kenma, is it okay if I call you Kenma? I don't have many friends that play Puzzles and Dragons, so can I add you? You held your phone up to show him that you were also playing the same game. Sh sure He held his phone out to you to show you his username. Holy shit! Why is your level so high? I'm only at level 39. What did you do? You're already at level 70 something! You exclaimed. Well, the game is quite easy, he replied. Easy? Wait, you mean you think the challenge dungeons are easy? You asked. Well, yeah, I mean, you just have to get enough combos, he told you. But, I mean, the challenge dungeon's time goes by so fast, how do you do it? I can only get like three combos at most. Your monsters also have to be strong enough. Let me see what monsters you have, he said as he leaned over. You showed him your monster list, and Kema's eyes immediately widened. Vishnu, Artemis, Susano, your monster list was full of gods he wished he had. Noticing his shocked expression, you chuckled softly. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky actually, I rolled all of these in the last godfest. Kenma has the skill when it comes to gaming, but he doesn't quite have the luck when it comes to gotchas, so every time he's rolling monsters, he always rolls those really bad silver eggs or those colorful eggs, and never the crystal eggs. You can see the obvious jealousy in his eyes. If you want, I can roll for you the next godfest, you said. No, I... Kenma hesitated. In return, why don't you help me farm monsters so I can evolve my gods, you said. And so, that was how Kenma made his first friend outside the volleyball team. The two of you sat together, ate lunch together, played games together, and even walked home together. You weren't that good at the games you played, but Kemma was never discouraging. Time slowly passed by, and the two of you now reached your second year. You have been crushing on Kemma for a while, but you were scared that he only saw you as a gaming friend, so you never said anything. Recently, Kemma has been noticing a few things too. When he's in a big crowd of people he doesn't know, Kemma always feels anxious. Normally, even having Kuro around will only soothe him a little bit, but whenever you're around, even if he's out in public, which he hates, he just feels so at ease. Kenma usually plays games by himself, but ever since he met you, his midnight gaming sessions just seemed lonely. The first person to notice this mutual crush is Kuro. And knowing how dense Kenma is, Kuro decided to help him out. Despite knowing Kenma for so long, you've actually never gone to one of his volleyball games. He never invited you because he didn't think it was worth watching, while you were too shy to ask, fearing it would make you seem too obvious. However, Kuro decided it was time to show you the non-gaming side of Kenma. They were warming up for the match, and that's when Kuro tapped Kenma on the shoulder and pointed to the audience seats on the second floor where you were at. 
his eyes nearly fell out of its sockets when he saw you. But what are they doing here? Kemba demanded. Don't get him wrong, his heart skipped a beat when he saw you, but he was just so surprised. <laughs> I invited them, Kudo smirked. Despite the smirk on his face, Kudo was panicking on the inside. This could either go according to plan, or it could go very wrong. Kemma gave Kudo a weird look of confusion, so Kudo decided to push the string a little bit more. Well, recently they've been telling me that they're quite interested in volleyball, so I thought I'd invite them to watch a few games. Plus, doesn't it fire you up when someone cute is cheering for you? It was as if lightning had struck Kemma, because he just realized that Kudo called you cute. Cute. Now, Kemma never really thought about you that way, but now that Kudo mentioned it, you are adorable. Kemma looked up at you, and you waved back at him. There was a loud thump in his chest as well as a weird feeling of uncertainty. You shouted good luck at him, and he nodded before lining up for the game. During the game, however, Kemma was having a hard time focusing. For some reason, he was very conscious of the fact that you were there, and the game just seemed more tiring than usual. You knew that Kemma has never been the athletic type. You were getting worried, and in the middle of the first set, Nekoma's side called timeout. Kuro was low-key starting to regret his decision. He didn't think you'd have that much of an effect on Kemma. Kemma, what's wrong with you? You're not playing like your usual self. Get yourself together, the coach said. Kemma groaned softly. His body felt heavier than usual, and he too realized that he wasn't playing like his usual self. Just as he was pondering whether he should tell the coach to sub him out, he heard you call his name. He looked up to see you waving your arms around in an exaggerated motion, chanting the healing spell from the game you two played. Then you pointed your palms at him. Gambare! You shouted with an encouraging smile on your face. Suddenly, his body felt ten times lighter. At that moment, Kemba could literally see you wearing a mage outfit, and it was as if he was the knight. Dragons and monsters soared in the air around the two of you, and his HP bar just started filling up. It was just like in the game you guys played, where you'd be support while he was the main attacker. A smile made its way onto Kemma's lips as he raised his fist at you. He was going to do his best. Kemma was still salty about Kuro inviting you over without telling him, so he made sure to work Kuro's ass off in the rest of the first set. In the end, Nekoma won without having to go into a third set. You were jumping and cheering when Nekoma scored the final point. After the match was over, Kemma looked up at you. It was at that moment that he knew that he wanted you to play support for him forever. The Nekoma team cleared out of the court for the next teams to play. You waited outside the gym for them and you waved at Kemma and congratulated him first thing when you saw him. To your surprise, Kemma immediately ran to you and wrapped his arms around your neck. Thank you, he muttered in your ear. K kemma Your face started to burn as you contemplated where to put your hands. Do you put them on his back or do you put them on his waist? Like, like what do you do? Kudo chuckled devilishly to the side, gesturing for the team to hurry up and get out of there. K kemma they left, you exclaimed. Kemma then placed his arms on your shoulder and pushed himself off of you, his golden eyes gazing into yours with the most serious gaze you've ever seen him make. His face was just as red as his jersey, and he looked like he was struggling, just a little bit. Scratch that, he was struggling a lot. His heart was about to explode, but he knew that if he doesn't tell you right now while the adrenaline from the game is still pumping in him, he might never make it out. Uh, I want you to be my player too, N not just in the game, in real life too. When you're here, it feels like I'll never run low on HP, and I always score more combos when you're with me, so, so, um, uh... Crap, where was he going with this? He had a point, and now he completely lost it. Seeing him struggle to finish, you decided to help him out. So, will you go out with me? E yes <laughs> you wrapped your arms around his neck and pecked him on the lips. <laughs> 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 <laughs>